Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Games From Scratch and today we have some Unity related news, especially if you are a Unity beginner. And I have to say, Unity are doing a very good job at getting learning materials out there for beginners to start with. And this kind of all started with Unity Learn that they launched back in April of 2019. And this is kind of an amalgamated portal for their learning materials. I did a video on it, you can see up ahead and I will link it down below with all the other relevant links. Now Unity Learn also has a premium version now, but most of the beginner oriented stuff remains to be free and today there is even more there they just launched three new game kits these are creator kits the whole idea behind these kits is they're smallish games that encourage you to you can extend upon them without having to jump into code they've done everything for you and they've done it across three different genres here so we got a creator kit the FPS Creator Kit that says, Welcome to the FPS Creator Kit. Bite Size Kit has magically minor miniaturized you, the doctor, into tiny sickness fighting forces of good. Your mission is to travel through your patient's body, destroying evil germs wherever you find them. Now, as you can see, this is a multi part course. We start off with uh, getting started, we do various different pieces of doing that, then we move on to customizing. Um, and on and on it goes. So you've got a tutorial that you can walk through and deal with here. Again, this is all completely free. And then back on the main screen here, you will notice there is a creator kit, FPS assets on the asset store. So all the stuff you see and need to use the kit are available on the asset store for you to download. Now, I do want to throw a bit of warning out here there with the package setup that they've got. This requires 2019.1. And I actually tried it with 2019.3 alpha and all kinds of things broke. So I would highly suggest if you are just starting out and you don't want to deal with the uh, dependency hell that modern day Unity has become, make sure you download the newest production version. In this case, as of time of recording, 2019.1. So anyways, that is one of the kits. There's the creator kit for first person shooters. There is a creator kit for RPGs. This one is welcome to the RPG uh, creator kit. If you fancy yourself an intrepid adventurer and love competing NPC quests to fill up your inventory, this is the kit for you. Creator kit is code free, which means you can focus on learning about the Unity editor and customizing the game based on your own ideas and interest. When you are completed the walkthrough, you will be able to share your customized RPG with friends. Uh, we also have a lot more 2D game content for you to explore. So then you can see it is broken down into multiple steps here too. So we've got um, getting started with the creator kit RPG, creating a world to explore and Enhancing the world, populating your world, creating your quest, developing the player experience, and quest accepted. And you'll notice again, the assets are available on the asset store. And then you'll see each one of these is broken down into multiple steps. A lot of times they are text-based tutorials, so uh, a lot of people I know really do like that. Plus, if you log in, you can persistently track where you are in a particular tutorial on Unity Learn, so you can come back to it at a different point and jump back in where you were at. And then the final kit that we have today in this new collection is the Creator Kit puzzle. And this one is welcome to creator kit puzzle make deliciously simple puzzles to challenge yourself and baffle your friends using physics and unity. No code required. All you need to do is guide a marble to a goal. Simple, right? So uh, explore the unity editor interface, design physics based puzzles using different objects and obstacles and create a sequence of levels that can be unlocked and accessed uh, during gameplay. Once again, broken down into multiple sections. Again, there is tracking. And again, there are a number of assets on the asset store. Speaking of which, Okay, you are not the right page. Hmm, my asset store link went away. Uh, I'll just follow it up this way. All right, so clicking here, really bring you to the asset store. You see I've already purchased, quote, air quotes, this one. Uh, you do need to sign in and add it to your assets type thing. It is the puzzle kit, for example, is 26 megabytes in size. Uh, the documentation will walk you through the process of actually importing it. Again, I highly recommend using the most current stable version, not a future beta or alpha or a previous version. So use 2019.1. And then you will see if you come into the contents of the creator kit, once you have imported, it is broken down into art, audio, data, prefabs, um, scene reference, scenes, and scripts. We're gonna jump into scenes. So you see here, they've got a section there for user creative, so you can start creating your own content if you so wish, as will be documented in the instructions. We'll go ahead, here is one of the example scenes. You can see this is level one, we've got level two, and we've got level three as well. And I'll go ahead and we'll play this. You see kind of what's going on. Sorry about the music bomb that's about to come at you. So there you go, and uh, actually, I have no idea how to trigger this guy. I thought it actually already did. So let's do a restart and see what it does. Hmm. I have no idea what the go button is. Oops. Uh, hammer. All right, let's go back to level one because I got no idea how level three works and we'll run it. So here you see, when you run it, physics just takes hold. 
off it goes, and down it goes, and so on and so forth. So this one is a straight up physics simulation puzzle. Some interesting physics missing in that particular thing, but I think this was supposed to blink and throw us up here. So I'm not sure if we just didn't get what we wanted working there or there's a bit more to it, but that's the basics of what you're dealing with with these kits. So it's all the resources, assets and such to go together to make these different things and the instructions on how to basically step by step walk through them. But they're also set up in a modular way. So if you go back and look here in the uh, scripts, for example, these scripts are reusable for what you need to make your own level along this side. And then again, there is one of these as well for um, a first person shooter style game and then the one for an RPG style game. And they also did a RPG kit a while back. So they've already got one in the RPG genre. That's why I chose to cover the puzzle one this day. But do check out, if you go to Unity Learn, which I will head on back to right now, uh, you will find at the root, in addition to these projects, there are uh, several others. So these kits were just added here. See, there's a 2D roguelike game kit already. There's a 3D game kit. So this is kind of just expanding out the knowledge. But these, these kits are special in that they're designed to be modular. So you can kit bash them into your own game. Kind of like a slow introduction to using Unity without having to require how to program or anything. Of course, if you want to extend the logic or make things uh, more complicated, you are going to eventually have to learn how to program. But this does give you some hands-on time. It allows you to kind of introduce to the, the tools and the, the workflow and all that other stuff without having to really worry about the game logic or the assets. And that kind of what makes learning via kits a quite powerful experience. So I, I got to say, if you're just starting out and you want to learn with Unity, the beginner-oriented stuff that they have out there is amazingly comprehensive. There is just so much out there. And I kind of reiterate what I said when I first talked about Unity Learn. You'll see here I said best way to learn Unity question mark. Well, I actually still hold true to that. I think Unity Learn is the place you should go to get started using Unity. And you will find that these kits, these three new kits they've added have made it even easier. Or they're just, you know, you can go in and play around and learn absolutely nothing if you don't want to hurt your brain. That's an option as well. So uh, it's very cool for Unity to keep bringing this stuff up. I'm definitely impressed. The beginner space is very well uh, handled at this point in time. And basically between puzzle games, um, first-person shooters and RPGs, really the only other kind of uh, game that I see a lot of people wanting to start out with that they haven't really covered yet is like a uh, hidden object or, or visual novel style titles. And then they've got a full set of game kits to kind of get you up and started. And then you can, you know, branch out from there and start adding your own logic, your own assets and expand upon it that way. That is definitely one approach to learning to develop games without being absolutely overwhelmed. So I do like these kits and I'm interested to hear what you think. Have you already learned Unity? Would this have been invaluable to you or are you looking to use Unit learn Unity and is this the approach you're going to take? Those things, love to hear them. Comments down below. And I will talk to you all later. Oh, yeah, actually, one other question. What kit would you like to see them added that they don't have as of yet? I think between, you know, 2D platformer, 2D um, RPG, puzzle game, and uh, shooters, they kind of got most of the basics down that I can think of. But if there's something else out there that you would like to see covered, I'd be interested in hearing it. Comments down below as well. All right, that's it for now. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.